Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 weirdest things that have happened during my pregnancy. So I am 30 weeks pregnant, meaning that I have 9 weeks and a few days to go, which is crazy and i know the last two months is where i'm going to experience the most but i just wanted to share with you guys you know just my top 10 right now that have come as a shock to me that i didn't know what happened to my body pre-pregnancy i mean we all know the basics like feeling nauseous your water breaking or not being able to tie your shoes with a big old belly so i thought i wouldn't add any of those and i would just add my top 10 <laughs> things that have happened to me both weird and grows so with that being said before we continue if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe down below right now also make sure you click that little notification bell button it's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos and if you would like to follow me on instagram at natalie Rea, that's how you can find me so number one on the list is the black line AKA the pregnancy line. So this is a line that most women get. Mind you, before I was pregnant, I would look at all these like belly pictures, obviously loved them all. And I would notice some women had this like line and I just always thought, oh, it's just because they already had it. It's their body because not everyone had it. So, of course, I didn't have that line pre-pregnancy. So, I was like, I'm not going to have it. That's not how my belly is going to look. And then weeks in, I start noticing this line. So, turns out it's pretty common. It is called the linea negra or something like that. And it's this brownish vertical line that starts from your belly button down. And yeah, basically, now I have that line and it's just so weird because it's just another thing different. Number two is going to be areolas. This one is one of those that I wasn't sure if I should add, but it is one of like the biggest ones and that is darker areolas not only darker areolas but it feels so weird saying that word but larger and wider like it just blows my mind how crazy this is so i didn't know about this pre-pregnancy i was one day looking in the mirror with phoenix and i noticed that my areolas looked a tiny bit darker than the usual and then i look at his and i'm like something's not adding up here like do, do they look darker to you so we compared them and still to this day i think it's so crazy how like the pigmentation could change and like i said not only that but they do get larger i don't know if it's because the skin is stretching that makes them look larger which i don't think that's it i mean they are getting bigger we all know that but I feel like they expanded because you can see the circle and then you can see all of these little dots forming around it which means that it's expanding so that's the only reason why I'm saying that they expand and they get wider because that's what I noticed I started seeing all of these little like specks around it and I'm like okay these were not around and obviously it has to do with your pregnancy and everyone goes through this but I didn't know this apparently it has to do with the baby being able to notice them um, better and all of this hormonal thing that just, just causes your body to change magically number three is going to be vain I've always been skinny so my veins have always been super noticeable. I don't know if you guys could see them on my hands right now. They've been extra pigmented, much more noticeable in every part of my body, in my legs, in my chest. Again, one day after the shower, looking at myself in the mirror and noticing the veins on my chest, super green and wild, going all the way up to my neck, which... I have seen them on my breasts before, but I've never seen them on my neck. That kind of freaked me out and I called Phoenix right away. I was like, are you seeing what I am seeing? And he was like, holy crap, your veins are popping, which is true. So much more noticeable veins all over my body. And obviously this is caused because, ooh, fun fact, um, pregnant woman... I totally forgot this one, but I learned this one. We produce, right now we have like 40% 
more blood than a regular person <laughs> that sounds so weird to say but i have 40 percent more blood than my husband right now um, because we need that blood for the babies so we're just like producing a lot more blood and that's why the veins are a lot more noticeable number four is going to be leg cramps um i never really experienced oh one time i experienced a leg cramp in the pool and it was just the worst thing ever like i thought my leg just freaking died right there in the spot i was like i'm paralyzed i'm never gonna move again um yeah that was a horrible feeling but that was the only time that i experienced a leg cramp and lately i've been experiencing them a lot more and of course this is another beautiful thing that happens to you when you are pregnant so it usually occurs during the nighttime. first time it happened phoenix and i were doing our thing and my leg just died right there on the spot since then i've had like a dozen leg cramps and they are not fun so number five is going to be bleeding gums now let me warn you this is a a gross one um i don't want to talk about it because it kind of just like for some reason it disgusts me um, but that is bleeding gums and this is just another fabulous thing that happens to you when you are pregnant your gums get swollen so when you floss you bleed and I actually don't know if this happens to everyone during their pregnancy but I know that it's common and the people that I have asked have gone through this it started back here the bleeding and I was like oh god I need to go see a dentist like what's going on and then it continued to the center the bottom the side the side and i was honestly embarrassed because usually when i floss i'll phoenix walks in and out the bathroom so he sees me like brushing my teeth and flossing and all of this so i started noticing like all of this blood and i would try and hide it because i thought it was gross because obviously when you bleed it means that your gums are unhealthy you know so i read about it i told him and i was like okay now this is just wonderful you know my gums are bleeding extra now and i'm sure he understood but he still found a way to make me feel bad about it like oh you need to go see a dentist which it is recommended for you to go see a dentist and get a cleaning while you're pregnant because your gums are like swollen and everything like that but this is something that goes away after pregnancy so i am definitely looking forward to that one because um, bleeding gums is not fun and it just, it, just, it just grosses me out. Number six is going to be blurry vision. Now, I already have horrible vision. I wear contacts. I wear glasses during the nighttime. But since being pregnant, I have noticed that I've been getting horrible vision. I've been getting blinder and blinder and I'm just like this... Is going pretty fast like this is not normal usually when I take off my contacts during the nighttime which is always like around 9 p.m. I do just fine getting around and I don't always wear my glasses because obviously I'm in my home I know where everything is but now I'm like stumbling all over the place bumping into walls so that's when I was like okay this is not normal again I googled it and it's another thing that happens to you when you are pregnant but luckily, it's another thing that goes away after your pregnancy. So, looking forward to that one as well. <laughs> Number seven is going to be a hairier back. This is another one that I think it's a little bit gross and weird. Um, because obviously everything's changing in our bodies. Everything's getting darker um and wider i don't know if it's just my hairs that have gotten darker or i have gotten hairier i don't know but i started noticing this one around the three month mark again after the shower standing in front of the mirror and like you know checking out the belly bump this was when i barely had a belly bump so i was always in front of the mirror so basically when i would look at myself from the side i started noticing like a darker shadow back here i got closer and i was like oh okay it's my hairs no biggie i don't just don't know why i never noticed them so i didn't make a big deal about it but later i started noticing it a lot more so i got closer and i was like okay yeah my hairs definitely got darker because they are a lot more noticeable i told phoenix and i was like um 
I think I'm getting hairier and he just dismissed it real quick like if I was crazy. Of course, I googled it just to make sure it was normal. Again, Phoenix didn't want to believe this because by then I'm already like, oh, my body's doing this, my body's doing that, and later on this is gonna happen to me and this and that. So he thought I was just crazy and making all of these things up because obviously there's so many things that happen to you. And I think about a month later, this boy straight up looked at me and said, damn Natalie, you need to shave your back. You are hairy. And I gave him like the deadliest look because I was like, are you freaking serious? Like, I told you about this. I told you this is happening and you didn't want to believe me. And here you are telling me that I need to shave my back, which he was just playing because he does that just to mess around with me. Like he'll say something that I told him weeks before and pretend like he wasn't listening. But now I found a solution. Everything that's happening to me, I like Google it. It literally tells you that this is because you are pregnant and I'll screenshot it and send it to him right away. And then again, I'll tell him about it in person just to make sure that he understands why my gums are bleeding or I have a hairier back. This next one is the belly blocker. Now this one does sound common, the belly blocker. Obviously the belly blocks everything and I think everyone knows about this one. But the only reason why I added this one is because there's like this specific thing that just bugs me um, that I never thought about pre-pregnancy. I feel like this one is so stupid. So basically, you know, majority of the people hang chill with their hands right here. But with the belly being there, I don't know where to put my hands. So, you know, I bring it up just, just a tiny bit just so it could like sit on the belly but I feel like I'm applying so much pressure to my stomach that I hate it I don't I don't want to do it so then I do the whole you know like you know go over the belly but then I feel like my hands are like sticking out like this it, it it's just it's just so weird something that I didn't know that I had to deal with like what what am I supposed to do with my hands this next one is also going to be a little gross one and that is burping So because our body is producing a lot of progesterone, um, it's causing our muscles to be, you know, relaxed and it just builds up all of this gas inside where you get very bloated or, you know, you're gassy and you're just letting it all out down there or you burp. Luckily for Phoenix, I am only dealing with the burping problem, but I still think it's gross. And this one usually only happens during the nighttime, which I hate that it happens during the night times. So obviously, during the night time is when you want to be the most relaxed, you know, in bed, in the couch, watching TV. So I feel a certain type of way that, you know, I just got out of the shower, I'm fresh, going into bed, and then here comes the discomfort. So I have been burping during the night time a lot. And I am so sick and tired of saying, excuse me. And it's not like I'm not being active to try and like move my body and like get rid of all that gas. So this is just something that I have to deal with. But it's, it's a gross one. The last one to the list, number 10, is going to be pelvis pain. This one, not everyone feels this one. Not everyone goes through this one. This one's probably the most, it's common but it's the most uncommon <laughs> like everyone that i have talked to hasn't really experienced it all the other ones about half of the women go through maybe even more this one is i believe just one third so like i said this is the pelvis pain aka pubic bone pain it can also be known as spd spd yes symphysis pubis dysfunction something like that it's a weird one and i hate it so if you're pregnant we all know about the round ligaments stretching so you get this pain in your stomach like on like on the v shape of your stomach so i knew about this one and i did get this pain and obviously right away i was like oh this is common this is something that i have to deal with but here comes my freaking pubic bone hurting and this officially started happening like under two months ago so i started noticing it when i would lift my leg up to put on my underwear but i never made a big deal about it um a week passed by maybe even two weeks and then the pain really really hit where i couldn't move my left leg without wanting to cry so when i first started feeling this pain i would immediately like touch my pubic bone 
because that's where the pain was coming from and when i would google it i would hear everything about like the pelvis pain and this and that but if you look up like the pelvis like it's kind of like shaped as a heart so i was like okay well my like my hip part doesn't hurt so it's not the pelvis it's the freaking pubic bone like down there that hurts so that's why i wasn't getting as much information but it turns out that you still call it the pelvis pain even though it's just that small little part down there that hurts which is the pubic bone and basically what it is is just the pelvis like the bottom portion the pubic bone portion it's kind of like separating and i just couldn't believe that it was happening to me because from what i had Google then research and all of this you might feel it after you deliver but I was already feeling it at like six months so that was what made it super weird for me that I had to deal with just another thing but anyways that is all I know there's many many more things that we have to deal with when we are pregnant but these were my top 10 that I thought were worth sharing because I didn't know of before that i didn't know i had to deal with pre-pregnancy i am curious to know if you guys have dealt with every single one of these i actually want to know about the last one if you have dealt with the pubic bone pelvis bone pain let me know and also let me know if there's more that you guys have experienced that you guys think are weird or gross i like to hear them out because i still have two months to go and i know that my body's about to go through a lot more today's shout out goes out to nana g shout out to you and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment anything your big heart desires i love you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you are not subscribed to join the rare family and i'll see you guys soon bye guys